Hi, children. Welcome back for this week children devotion. Today we are going to learn God's children learn to say no. The passage we are looking today is taken from Daniel chapter three, verse nineteen to twenty nine. Children, do you know that what you must say if someone tells you to do something wrong? You have every right to say no to things that are bad for you. If Satan try to make us disobey father and mother, then we must say no to him. Then we will become strong children of God. Sometimes it is hard to say no, but the Lord Jesus will help us when we ask Him. We can move with the confidence that God is with us, protecting us. Guiding us and refining us into a better version of ourselves. A story of the Bible from Book of Daniel about the King Nebuchadnezzar. God people were caged and taken away to the country of Babylon. The king of the country was named Nebuchadnezzar. Three young men was named Shatra, Musa, Abednego. Word for King Nebuchadnezzar. The king have a golden statue of himself made. The king order all the leaders of the Babylon to come together for the dedication of the enormous idol. On the day of the dedication ceremony, all the leaders of Babylon gather by the golden statue of King Nebuchadnezzar. A herald announced to the crowd that. They were to bow down and worship the statue when the music began. Anyone who did not do as commanded would be thrown into a furnace of fire. So when the sound of music and all sorts of instrument were heard, everyone bowed down before the statue, except for Satra, Musa, and Abednego. A group of the king advisers noticed that these three young men did not bow down and worship the statue. The advisor went to the king to tell him of the men the obedient. When King Nebuchadnezzar heard that they refused to bow to the statue, he became angry. He had Satra, Musa, and Abednego brought to him to answer for the disobedience. He told them, "If you continue to refuse to bow down and worship of the statue, you will have to throw into the furnace of fire." But Satra, Musa, and Abednego held to their faith. They told the king, "The God we serve will deliver us from the fiery furnace." King Nebuchadnezzar have heard enough. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times hotter than normal. The soldiers tied up Satra, Musa, and Abednego and lead them to the furnace. As the doors of the furnace were open, Satra, Musa, and Abednego were thrown in. The heat at the furnace overpowered the soldiers, and they died on the spot. King Nebuchadnezzar looked into the furnace, and to the, his amazement. He saw that the three young men were unharmed. Then the king noticed something even more amazing. In unbelief, he asked his advisor to confirm that there was supposed to be only three persons in the fire. After the advisor agreed with him, the king said, "I see four men walking unhurt and unbound in the fire." And one of them looks like the son of God. The king Nebuchadnezzar called for Satra, Misha, and Abednego to come out of the fire. He was so in awe of what he had seen. He praised the God of the three young men. There is no other God who is able to rescue in this way. Then the king promoted the three young men. To high position in his kingdom. 
The Bible tells us about these three young men because they dare to say no. And the great king Nebuchadnezzar praised God when he saw how God took care of the blessed three young men. Children, do you know what you must say if someone tells you to do something wrong? Always remember, you must say no to them. Sometimes it is hard to say no, but we must believe that Lord Jesus will help us when we ask Him. Before we end the session today, let us pray together. Lord Jesus, sometimes I'm tempted to do wrong. Help me to say no. Make me strong to do the right, so that I will please Thee. Help others, boys and girls too, so that we will be happy together in Thee. Amen. Thank you, children. We will see you again next week. Bye and take care.